Greetings and salutations. It's David Duford here at davidduford.com where I help insurance agents like you become top producing insurance agents. And today starts a four or possibly five part mini series of a recent experience I had walking the lot trying to buy a car to no avail. One of the things that I'm going to teach in this video is how useful it is to deal in a high pressure potentially sales circumstance to really learn what I teach, what you learn from other people from the context of being a buyer, whereas most of the time what we are are sellers, right? We're salesmen. So let me kind of give you the background story here so you better understand what I'm talking about. So I went to look for a new Honda minivan for my wife. Uh, the one that we've got, it's got some miles on it, it's got some age, and we're looking at possibly buying a pretty new, brand new really vehicle. And so I went through the experience of, of test driving different vehicles, trying them out with a sales rep and making an offer and really not getting the deal, not really even getting into a, a deal making environment. And every time I've bought a vehicle, it's been really one of the most important circumstances I've been in where I've learned the stuff that I teach and how it's been uh, uh, displayed to me from the salesperson uh, or not. And I'm sorry to report that this time around was a, an unfortunate display, to say it in nice terms, of salesmanship in action. And also really from the sales manager who did not work hard for a deal. Now I'll, take, I'll give you guys this, I'm not a salesperson in the car business, I never have been. So look, I'm just giving you my perspective uh, you know, feel free to critique what I'm saying from a contextual standpoint. If you're a car salesman, maybe there was no opportunity to close me. Uh, I highly doubt that, as we'll describe over the next couple of, of videos. So what I'm going to do is break this down into different aspects that I thought were the most teachable moments that I could deliver to you guys. And whether you sell cars, or whether you go and buy a sales car or buy a car, this is all going to be good information, I think, that even if you just sell insurance like me, uh, will be good, useful information because the act of sales is human psychology in action and, and pretty much sales is sales regardless of what you're selling. So it's, it's important fundamental. So the first big thing and what the topic of this video is, is that the biggest mistake my car sales guy did is he did not pre-qualify. So what's pre-qualifying? Well, pre-qualifying is where the salesperson asks a new number of questions to determine if I'm somebody that is worth their time uh, selling. And also to determine what kind of budget, price range, goals are appropriate, and then matching a car, financing, that kind of thing that will give me the best chance of selling this to the client. So when I walked on the lot, I met the car guy. He walked up to me just like a typical situation. And I told him I wanted to drive a new pilot. So we checked that out, drove it around. The, the, the salesman did zero work when it came to pre-qualifying. Now, uh, so he didn't know how much money was, was I going to pay cash? Or was I going to get financing? How many years have I been working? Um, do I have a consistent steady source of income? There was no information. Who is this vehicle for? Why are you trading this vehicle in in the first place? Powerful questions that all car salespeople should ask. This guy didn't do. And so, you know, uh, you know this compared dra dramatically differently from the last time I bought a van where I was actually being sold by owners of an old uh, uh, dealership in town and uh, the, actually a son. And this guy asked me all sorts of upfront questions before we got into the first car. You know, he asked me how long you've been working at your job, what's your income range. He may not have asked that. He may have asked about like, what has your credit, how much you looking to put down, what's your budget, why do you want a new car, what's causing. So he developed and extracted all this information and formulated in his mind kind of where the best scenarios were going to be. Very powerful that the thing that this first salesman did many years ago that this guy did nothing at all with. And so where I'm going with this, and, and the main point I want to drive home to you guys, A, who are car salespeople, is look, you can't let these guys walk on the lot without figuring out where they stand when it comes to buying a car. Now we all know if somebody says, I'm just looking, to just kind of look past that. But as you start to ask questions, why are you here today? What can I help you with? What kind of vehicle are you looking for? 
Um, what's important to you? Um, and then getting down to financing and credit-based questions. You've got to ask that stuff. Why would you waste your time as a salesperson taking somebody around that just isn't going to fit the bill? It doesn't make any sense, does it? So you got to start pre-qualifying if you're not. Look, I could have gone through the whole sales process with this particular guy, and then I had a 500 credit score. Maybe you guys could get me something. I don't know. Uh, maybe I could have gone through the whole process and you know whatever you know it's something that was a condition of doing business meaning that we couldn't overcome or circumvent now is brought to the forefront now we got to deal with it at the close or maybe you could have eliminated dealing with this prospect ahead of time if you would ask the tough questions up front so if for all of you guys on especially the guys who are on my channel you sell life insurance final expense that kind of thing this is why i teach pre-qualifying so important you want to make sure the prospect you're sitting across the table from actually fits the bill. Do they have need, want, bank, budget, uh, health? Do they health qualify? You got to make sure all this stuff exists ahead of time because why would you spend a moment with somebody who this isn't a good fit for? It doesn't make any sense. So make sure you guys are pre-qualifying no matter what kind of sales that you're doing. I promise what you're going to find is you're going to get better results, you're going to be happier, and you're going to spend more time with qualified buyers and less time with unqualified tire kickers. My name is David Duford. If you'd like to learn more about selling life insurance, final expense, mortgage protection, annuities, and Medicare supplements, check out my YouTube channel. I got lots of videos on how this lucrative business works, uh, how you can make a great six-figure income, have a lifestyle-oriented business model. You can also check out my website at davidduford.com if you want to learn more about joining my agency. I work with agents nationally. Uh, all who uh, believe mentorship, coaching, and access to good commissions and a sales and marketing system is important for their success. Again, DavidDufour.com, uh, where I help insurance agents like you become successful. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.